Hey guys, are you looking to EV train your Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but you're not quite sure where to start? Well, allow me to lend you a helping hand. My name is Lush. I play Pokemon Unite professionally, but before that, I have spent my entire life playing Pokemon games. Even at rank one in Sword and Shield a couple of times, so hopefully I have some knowledge I can pass on to you guys when it comes to games like these as well. Now first off, what are EVs? I'm not going to go into some long explanation about it. It's really simple. EV stands for effort values, and effort values are the stats that you gain by knocking out wild Pokemon. Now each Pokemon can earn up to 510 EVs and only 252 in a specific stat. A very common spread you'll see when testing out Pokemon is 252 in two different stats and then the remaining just dumped into another one. Though as the metagame develops the spreads get quite a little bit more complicated. Though don't worry that's a video for another day. The really simple thing you need to know about these EVs is if you're at level 100, for every 4 EVs in one stat you'll gain one stat point. Example, 4 attack EVs gives you one attack stat. So this changes at level 50 where most competitive Pokemon is actually played. At level 50, for the first 4 EVs you'll gain 1 stat, and after that it's every 8. So at 12 EVs you'd gain 2 points and you get your next EV point at 20. It's fairly simple once you know the basics. Now at this point you're probably wondering which EVs a wild Pokemon is going to give you. Instead of going through all 1000 in a video, I'm going to post a link down in the description. This link is to a database that I use and all you do is type in the name of a Pokemon and then you scroll down and it will tell you the EVs that it yields. Cerebi also has a list of which Pokemon give which EVs and I'll put that down in the description as well. Let's get down to why you're all here and that's how to train these stats in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now I've been doing a lot of testing over the past couple of days because this is probably the most fun part of the game for me. I love EV training my Pokemon, I love coming up with different sets and trying them out and it's just, it's just a blast to me. There are a few ways to train your EVs in this game and one of them is Vitamins and I believe this is probably the most simple one especially for newer players to the series. You can find Vitamins at any Chansey Supply Store. The problem is that this is really, really expensive. Each vitamin gives 10 EV points. Now, remember, you can have 510 EVs on a Pokemon. Each vitamin also costs 10,000. Now, that's going to cost you 510,000 to train one Pokemon. Now, of course, if you have the resources, go for it. I'm trying to find a way to make money quickly in this game so I can even resort to this because it's much, much faster. But for most of us, especially at this point of the game, that is just not realistic. To be able to train all the Pokemon we want, we would need millions and millions and millions. So I'm going to recommend to you the way that I've been training my Pokemon's EVs at the moment, it just feels more plausible and realistic at this current point in the game. And I've been having great success with this and it feels really, really fast. Now for this particular method, you're going to need to again go to the Deli Bow Presents store and you're going to have to pick something up. What you're going to need to grab are the power items. When it comes to EV training, these items are unbelievably important. They will give you an extra 8 EVs from the Pokemon that you knocked out. For example, if you were to KO a Scyther that yields 1 attack EV while wearing the power bracer, you will instead get 9 attack EVs. That is essentially you KOing 8 more Scythers. These items are unbelievably necessary for this method and I highly, highly suggest you picking them up. All you need to do is put the power items on the Pokemon you want to train and the beauty of this kind of a method is that you can train 6 Pokemon at one time. Realistically, you'll likely be doing 5 because you want a strong lead to KO those Pokemon quickly, but you could do 6. Every Pokemon you're wanting to train needs to be wearing the Bracer, so you're gonna have to buy a few but it's still much, much cheaper than the Vitamins. As long as a Pokemon is in your party, when you get the KO on a Pokemon, it will get the EVs of the Pokemon that was knocked out. Something really important to note here though, is that if you're using the Let's Go mode where you hit the R button and send out your Pokemon to fight without you, you're not actually getting any EVs for that Pokemon or for your party. It's unfortunate because it would be quicker if you did, but it's also kind of useful because you can use it to get rid of pesky Pokemon that are around and bothering you while you're trying to farm other ones. Now the next step I used to do here was to go to certain places. For example, there is a Pokemon Center in the North Province Area 2 that takes you to a field that has a lot of Pokemon that yield attack EVs. Almost everything around there gives you that stat, and it's a great place to farm. Though I noticed something a little later. Going around to spots like these across the map that give you fast EVs is quite useful. But there is another way that is just so much faster, and that is looking for outbreaks. When you look at your map and you see a symbol flashing with a Pokemon on top of it, that means that there is an outbreak there. 
a lot of that Pokemon are going to keep spawning and spawning and spawning. I have KO'd over a hundred Pokemon doing this. There is a high chance usually that there will be a Pokemon on your map in an outbreak of the EV type that you need for at least one of the Pokemon you're looking to train. I highly suggest you throw those Pokemon in your party, you fly on over there and you take on the outbreak. The same Pokemon will spawn back to back to back and it won't stop until there is more than 100 there. The thing is that you only need 28. If you are wearing the power items, even if it's a Pokemon that only gives one EV, you are going to only need to KO 28 to have a stat completely maxed out. Now I know what you're thinking, this might be really annoying, you have to count the Pokemon you're KOing and you have to keep track. Well the thing is that you don't. If you're doing a really simple EV spread where it's maxed into stats, once you hit the maximum on one stat, you will see little sparkling stars over that stat in the summary. All you do is go to the Pokemon in the summary, change to the graph menu, and you will see the sparkles there telling you that, hey, this stat is already trained and it's maxed out, meaning you've taken out 28, it's time to go to the next outbreak. I have never had a moment where there isn't an outbreak for me to go to to train the Pokemon I'm trying to train. Now, this might be because I'm training a lot of different Pokemon at one time, so I'm able to get all the different stats from all the different outbreaks. It may be a little harder when you're only focusing on one stat, but from what I've tried and tested, this feels like the best way to me. Let me know if you've tried this kind of method or a similar kind of method, and let me know your favorite way to EV train your Pokemon. This game is new and I'm willing to admit that I don't know everything, especially not just yet. So I'd love for you guys to share your knowledge with me in the comment section. Let me know where you get all your EVs. Let me know if there's a system better than Outbreaks. Let me know if you know how to make that fast money so you can buy all those vitamins. I'm looking to learn from you as much as I'd love you to learn from me. If this video gets enough likes, I will continue to make Scarlet and Violet content here on this channel, as usually this is an only Pokemon Unite channel. Don't worry, I'll still be making the Pokemon Unite videos as well. I've loved Pokemon my entire life, and I'd love for it to be a part of my life in any way possible. And every one of you that comes by and supports the channel makes that even more possible day by day, and I cannot express my gratitude to every single one of you. If you watched this video, even if you didn't leave a like, even if you didn't subscribe, thank you from the bottom of my heart for sharing your time with me. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and have a wonderful day.